Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rotherham Match Day Vlogs. But today, we aren't doing a vlog, we're doing some FA Cup third round predictions. The FA Cup third round starts on Saturday, and Rotherham are in the FA Cup third round, so there'll be a vlog out for that around 3 o'clock, because kick-off against Hull is at half 12. There's some interesting games in the FA Cup third round. I'm going to be doing a part one and part two of this. Part two's only coming out if I get 10 likes on this video. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers, so if you see this video, like the video, share, uh, subscribe to my channel and share the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. First, we're going to start off with the Merseyside derby. Red versus blue, Liverpool versus Everton. I think this is the biggest FA Cup tie in the third round in quite a while now. And I think Liverpool are going to win this game no matter what team they put out. So score prediction for this game, I'm going to go 4-1 Liverpool. Next, I'm going to go Middlesbrough versus Tottenham. Both of these sides aren't doing so well in their leagues as Tottenham are in the Premier League and Middlesbrough in the Championship. Jose Mourinho got booked last time Tottenham played against Southampton for spying on Southampton's tactics. Score prediction for this game, I'm going to go 2-1 Spurs. Next up is Wolves versus Man United. This is another big cup tie. Uh, Wolves always do well against Man United and Man United always struggle against Wolves. And Wolves are particularly good at home. Recently they beat City 3-2 after being 2-0 down with Raheem, score, Raheem Sterling scoring 2. Adama Traore, Jimenez and Doherty scoring for Wolves. Score prediction for this game, I'm going to go 1-0 Wolves. Next up is Manchester City who have won the Premier League two times on the bounce now versus Port Vale. My team Rotherham played Manchester City in the third round of FA Cup away last year. We lost 7-0. I think Port Vale are obviously going to lose like everyone thinks they are. Unless you're a Port Vale fan, you might be uh, positive. But I think Port Vale are going to lose 8-1. Next up is Sheffield United versus AFC Fylde. Sheffield United got knocked out of the third round of the FA Cup last year to Barnet and they lost 1-0. I think they played their second side though. I think Sheffield will play their second side again, but I think they've strengthened up the squad because they're in the Premier League. I think uh, Sheffield are going to win 3-0. Next up is the Premier League winners in 2016-17 season, Leicester versus Wigan. Leicester are doing amazing this season in the Premier League. They're currently second, 10 points of Liverpool, who are top. I think Leicester are going to beat Wigan. And I think they're going to beat them 4-0. Next up is Premier League side Bournemouth the versus Championship side Luton. Luton have currently been promoted from League One to Championship and I think they're bottom of the Championship and they're not doing so well. I don't. I think if they can't win many games in the Championship, they're going to lose to Bournemouth. I think they're going to lose to Bournemouth 1-0. Next up is Watford who are in the Premier League versus Tranmere who are in League One. Tranmere have recently lost their game against Coventry at home 4-1 and Watford 1-2-1 against Wolves. I think Watford are obviously going to come out on top but I think Tranmere are going to have a couple of chances but not take them. Score prediction for this game I'm going to go 2-0 Watford. Next up is Brighton Hove Albion the versus Sheffield Wednesday. Brighton are in the Premier League and Sheffield Wednesday are in the Championship. Sheffield Wednesday's rival Sheffield United only a couple of we weeks ago beat Brighton away 1-0. I am a Rotherham fan but I'm unfortunately going to have to say I think Wednesday are going to shock Brighton and beat them 2-1. Two, two, 
Next up is Arsenal, known as the Gunners versus Leeds. Leeds are uh, in the top two in the Championship and Arsenal are mid-table in the Premier League. I think Leeds are actually going to draw this with Arsenal and I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I'm going to go 3-3. Three, three. Next up is Chelsea in the Premier League versus Nottingham Forest in the Championship. I think this game's going to be pretty tight because I think Chelsea are going to play some of their second team, some of their youngsters, and I think Forest going to play the majority of their first team. I think Chelsea are going to scrape a win and I'm going to go 2-1 to Chelsea. Next up is Preston North End versus new, new Premier League team Norwich. Norwich like playing against big teams. They beat City at home, they do to Tottenham at home, when they probably should have beat Tottenham. Preston are doing well in the Championship. I think they're up there in the playoffs. I think Preston have the home advantage and I think Preston are going to win 2 0. Next up is Premier League Crystal Palace versus Championship Derby. Derby have a new manager coach and is famous Wayne Rooney. I think Wayne Rooney is going to give himself a chance and maybe encourage the actual manager for him to play. I don't know how well Crystal Palace are doing in the Premier League, but I assume they're more or less mid-table-ish. But I think Derby are going to take this to a replay and Derby are going to go at home and I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Next up, uh, Inform Southampton who are in the Premier League versus not Inform, Huddersfield who are in the Championship. I think Southampton are easily going to win this game and I think they're going to win this game 3-1. I think Danny Ings is going to score a hat-trick. Next up are Rochdale versus Newcastle. Rochdale got to this stage by beating Boston in a second round replay. The run mistake from the Boston keeper leading Rochdale to get their first goal. Newcastle are away, but I don't think this is any advantage to Rochdale. I think Newcastle are going to win comfortably. I think they're going to win 3 Nil. Next up is Championship Fulham versus Premier League Aston Villa. Aston Villa are just above the relegation zone in the Premier League. I'm not sure where Fulham are in the Championship, but they're doing average slash pretty well. I think Villa are going to scrape this by the scruff of the neck and I think they're going to get a 2-1 win. 2-1 to Villa. Next up is Gillingham versus West Ham. West Ham are in the Premier League and I think they're in the bottom side of the half and Gillingham are in League One. I think everyone thinks West Ham are going to win this game and I totally agree with them. I think West Ham are going to win by three goals and I think they're going to score that three goals and concede zero, which makes it a 3-0 West Ham win. Next up is my side, Rotherham versus Hull City. Rotherham are playing at the New York Stadium, their home ground. Rotherham have been on a bit of a cup run uh, recently. We beat Maidenhead 3-1 and we were losing to Solihull Moors 3-0 after 75 minutes and we ended up winning 4-3, no extra time. I think we're going to take this to a replay though and I think we're going to draw to Hull 1-1. Next up is Championship Millwall versus League 2 Newport County. Millwall are closing the gap to the playoffs in the Championship. Last year they were fighting for relegation. This year they're going for the playoffs. I think Millwall are going to win this game. I think they're going to win it by one, two, maybe three goals. But I think, personally, Newport are going to get a goal. But Millwall are going to score three, leaving it 
3-1 to Millwall. Next up is Welsh team Cardiff, known as the Bluebirds, versus League 2, Carlisle. I think there's not going to be a not upset in this game. I think Cardiff have got this in the bag, even though they did just recently lost to QPR 6-1 in, in Aki Wales, scoring a load of goals for QPR. He was on form there. I don't I think don't think Carlisle are gonna get a goal away and, and I think Cardiff are gonna win five nil. It's gonna be a five goal thriller. Next up is League One Oxford, who are currently in fourth in League One versus non league Hartlepool. Hartlepool will come from a couple of goals behind against Exeter to win something like three two in round two. I don't think they're going to come back uh, this round, but I think they're going to keep it close. And I think Oxford are going to win 3-2. On to the next one. Next up is Crew Alexandra versus Barnsley. When we got promoted in the 2017-18 season, when Richard Wood scored two in the playoff final, we played Crew in the first round of the FA Cup. Kiefer Moore got a goal to slab when we were already 1 0 up, and Crew got a last minute winner to, to Heartbreakers to knock us out of the FA Cup. I think Crew are going to beat Barnsley, and I think they're only going to beat them by a goal, and I think there's only going to be one goal in that game, leaving it 1 0 to Crew. The last prediction of the video is Burton versus Northampton Town. Burton are in League One and Northampton are in League Two. Rotherham centre midfielder Matt Crooks is from Northampton. I remember signing him last season in and around January the 12th. I think Burton are going to win this game and I think Northampton are going to get a couple of goals. I think Burton are going to win this 4-2. Right, I'm going to end it there everyone. Thanks for watching if you got it this far. If you haven't seen your club in this prediction video, get liking the video, subscribing to my channel and sharing it. I promise I will do your club if this video gets 10 or more likes next video. So I'll say goodbye now and I'll see you on the next one.